יובל גדות, פרופסור from the Department of Archaeology and Near Eastern Cultures, Tel Aviv University, and I'm co-directing the excavations here uh, for the Israeli Antiquity Authority and Tel Aviv University. This golden earring that was found here, when, when you see a golden earring like that, it's alway, always uh, uh, amazing because it's clean, it's, it's fresh as if it's new. Uh, it takes two seconds to understand uh, that we are seeing something that is ancient. Uh, and then when you look at it, you see this uh, horned animal, you see the craftsmanship, the quality of whoever uh, did that. And, and, and you, you say to yourself, okay, so what, what is it doing in Jerusalem? And there are no, almost no other parallels to that in Jerusalem. Uh, we looked around, and the few parallels that we do have are coming from, mostly from the coast. Uh, probably this originated, this was done in, in, in somewhere in Greece, in mainland Greece. This is a, a, the date of this object is placing us somewhere in the 300, 200, 150 year BCE, uh, 2,200 years before our time. Uh, this is the time that J Jerusalem and Judah as a whole was ruled over by the Hellenism, Hellenistic uh, empires, first the Ptolemaics and then the Seleucids. So it's not a surprise, complete surprise, to have things coming out from the Hellenistic world to here. It's just that we think, we always perceive Jerusalem as a very conservative place where things that are not Judean do not enter. Uh, there's kind of cultural barriers. Uh, and so we have to ask yourself, is there somebody Greek living here and that's why he has the access or he uses the earrings like that or is it a more... Uh, Hellenized Jew who didn't mind having an object like that or maybe he is a conservative Jew but there's nothing bad in having an earring like that. Whatever he or she were, they are definitely rich. Okay, having a gold earring like that places you as a rich person. Uh, no, but not, not everybody had access to things like that. We see that it's very beautiful and with uh, high quality. Yeah. So you say that is a belong to someone rich. Yeah. First of all, the gold, it has to be somebody, unless of course somebody stole it and we found the thief's house, but let's say that we didn't, uh, then we, he has access to gold, things that are made of gold, so they are expensive. And second, this was an, an imported object. So, uh, just as today, not everybody is going to the jewelry and, and buying uh, objects that are coming from, I don't know where now, Belgium, uh, or things like that. Uh, so yes, it, it is. A, and the fact that it's unique. If Let's say that if it was common, uh, then you would see it in excavations until now. The fact that it's unique, it's the first time, tells us that, okay, not everybody had things like that, jewelry like that.